Hello children and how are you today? It's so good to be back again and it's nice to see you all. My name is Auntie Ese. Don't worry, I know your names. Wow. I welcome you to Winners Kids Online Service. But before we start, we know what we normally do. We are going to join our hands together and we are going to sing our song before we pray. You know we have a new song now. Who can remind me? Don't worry, Auntie knows the song. And what's the title? It's about prayer, you know? Okay, let's, let's sing our song. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for yet another lovely and blessed Sunday that you have made. We are happy and we rejoice in it. Lord, we thank you for your presence in our midst today in this service. Lord, even as we are here, we receive understanding from you today. Everything we are going to learn, O oh God, we have, we know, O oh God, that you are going to give us that retentive memory in the name of Jesus. You are going to bless us. You bless everything that concerns us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Now, what's the next thing? It's praise time. Woo. Are you ready to praise God? So let's stand up on our feet. Stand up, everyone. Stand up, stand up. So praise God. Now, are you ready? You know, I love dancing. Are you ready? Yes, I love dancing. Come on. Let's go.
this dance. Yeah, you sing it. You know, just do like this. Uh, no. I danced. You saw me. I was dancing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, it's our covenant greeting time. Are you ready? You know, we have a new one that we started since January. And we're in the month of which month now? February. Praise the Lord. So, we are going to say our covenant greeting. Are you ready? Did you remember? My baby will say, did you remember? Eh? <laughs> did you remember? Yes. Now, I will be the caller and you are going to respond. Is that okay? Good. Did you write it down the last time? Don't worry. It's showing on your screen right now, okay? I will call, then you will respond to me. Let's go. Welcome to 2021. Your year of supernatural turnaround. What will you say? I receive and believe this prophetic verdict. Wow. Then what will I say? Then expect turn around to become your new identity from henceforth. What will you say? You say, they, the same shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody says, Amen and Amen. Well done. Let's take it again. No, we're not going to rush. We'll take it calmly, okay? Are you ready? I will start. Okay? Welcome to 2021. Your year of supernatural turnaround. What will you say? I received and believed this prophetic verdict. Then I will say, then expect turn around to become your new identity from henceforth. You will say, the same shall be your portion in Jesus Christ. Nay, amen and amen. Come on, clap for yourself. Well done. Woo, I love that. You guys are so brilliant. I love that. Well done. So, it's time. Are you having your church bag, as we said? You know, we've got school bag. We've got shopping bag. Now, here's your church bag. Open it. What's inside? What have you got there? Your Bibles, yes. Mm -hmm. Your book, good. That's your notebook, good. Your pen, well done. If you want, if you know how to type on your iPad, those of you have the iPad right now, you say, "Mommy, what's the type?" Then, what are you going to do for me? You are going to pay attention. What did I say? Pay attention to Auntie. Okay, good. That's so good. And. We are going to say the theme of the month of February 2021. Are you ready? Yes. You know I love the theme of the month. I love memory verse, I swear. So we're going to say the theme of the month first. This is the month of February. And the theme for the month of February is Faith Secures Fulfillment of Prophecies. Why did I say? Faith secures fulfillment of prophecies. And that is taken from where? In the Bible. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Where? Luke chapter 1 verse 45. So can we say it one more time? The theme of the month. Yes, the theme of the month. I say faith secures Fulfillment of prophecies. And it's taken from where in the Bible? Luke chapter 1. Verse what? Verse 45. Well done. That's good. So, we are going to look at what? Memory verse. Everybody say memory verse. <laughs> you know I love memory verse. Memory verse. 
And to this memory verse is taken from Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Where? Can you say it, please? Romans chapter 10, verse 17. And it says, Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Wow. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. What does it say? Faith comes by hearing the word of God. And you know the way I like to say memory verse? I will say, let's close the eyes so you can say, say memory verse. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. I want you to say, faith comes by hearing the word of God. Can we say it again? Memory verse. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. What does it say? Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Come on, give yourself a high five. Wow. Well done. I love that. That's so good. Good. Today, children, our scripture reading will be from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. That's going to be our scripture reading for today. That's our Bible reading. But our Bible character is a special one. Who can guess? Can you? No, I will tell you, don't worry. Our Bible character for today, for this month, February, is Abraham. You know what that song says? Father Abraham has made his us. No, we're not singing that song right now. But we're talking about Abraham today. Are you ready? Good. And then we have a lovely topic. What's the topic? Faith. Our topic today is going to be, what is faith? Did you hear that? What is faith? And then, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to say what faith is. Okay? We are going to learn about faith today. So, who can tell me what is faith? I know your name is Faith. <laughs> Don't worry. Then what is the meaning of your name? Mommy said it's what? Oh, that she believed. And you came. Oh my God, that's so lovely. Woo! Thank you, Faith, for telling us the meaning of your name. But we are all going to learn about faith today. So the first thing about faith, you say, faith is hearing and doing what the word of God says in the Bible. Where is it? Where are we going to hear it? it says, in the Bible. So it's when you listen to what the Bible says, after you have read the Bible, you now do it. That's faith. It says, faith is hearing. How do you hear? Like if they are playing a message, the pastor is preaching, you are listening, you are hearing the word, isn't it? Or you are watching it on television, just the way you are watching it now, you are hearing the word. Then when you are not doing it, you do what the Bible says we should do. Say, that is faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well done. Then the second thing about faith is that eh, faith gives us testimony. Oh my God. God, faith gives us testimony. How? Okay, we said no, our Bible text is from Hebrews chapter, chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. But here, we'll be looking at verse 2 in the book of Hebrews in the Bible. He said, for by it, the elders obtained a good report. Who are the elders? Daddies and mommies. Pastors, uncles, and aunties, the grown ups, they are the elders. He said, but because they listen, they read the Bible, they study and they understand, not do what the Bible says. Say, so from there, they obtain a good report. If daddy wants something and he prays, he will not believe. When he believes, that thing comes. You say, oh, 
Daddy said that this thing was going to come, and he came. And then the third thing we'll be looking at about faith. He said, God created the world by faith. Do you know how? Do you know how God created the world by faith? If we look at, are you looking at your Bible, please? Open your Bibles. Hebrews chapter 11, still again, from verse 3. What does this say? I will read that place for you. He said, through faith, we understand that the words we are framed by the word of God. Oh my God! He said, so that things which are seen, we are not made of things which do appear. God said, let there be light. And light came to us shining. He said, let us make man. He just make man. Let there be animals. Let there be sea. Let there be this. Let there be that. God was just saying it. Say it with his mouth. He said everything. And everything came to pass just the way he said it. Is God not powerful? He's so powerful. So he said, we, the children of God, since we are children of God, he said we should have faith in him. How do we have faith in him? By reading the Bible, listening, and doing what the Bible says we should do at all times. Okay? Is that all right? Then, I want you to do something for me right now. Your pen and your paper, you're going to write these words down now. Are you ready? You are going to write down these, the following Bible verses that will be showing now. Mommy, please, mommy, help us to write it down, please. Auntie, help us to write it down, please. Because it's, it's an assignment now. It's homework. It's homework. What are you going to do for auntie? You're going to write Mark chapter 11 from verse 23 to 24. Are you writing? Yeah, I'll repeat it. It's showing on the screen anyway. It says Mark chapter 11 verses 23 to 24. I won't tell you what is there. I know it. <laughs> the other one is Philippians 4, verse 19. Oh my God, I love that very well. Hmm. Are you writing, mommy? Please help us to write it. Philippians 4, verse 19. And the last one. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. Let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to learn it. You're going to be saying it the way you say a memory verse. You will learn, you close, after reading it, you stop, mommy will teach you, and then you'll be saying it, you'll be saying, you'll be saying it, you'll be saying, you have to say it as memory verse, you have to learn it very well, okay? Because I'm going to ask you to tell me what is written there, okay? Well done, that's your homework for now, a big one for you, praise the Lord! Hallelujah, come on, praise, praise, praise the Lord! Ha, ha, hallelujah! Wow, it's our activity time! Are you ready? Good. What we are going to do today for your activity is that you are going to color the picture that is displayed now on your screen, okay? You can see that picture displayed now, you can see my hand on your screen. So just ask mommy, ask anybody around to please download it. Or mommy can pause the video so you can just draw it and then you Use your any color you have at home, anyone you have at home, color it. Then, mommy, please take a good picture of it. Please, mommy, daddy, auntie, take a picture of it, okay? And then you're going to send it to us as we always do. I'm going to send it along with your testimony, you know? I'm going to send it to where Birmingham, the children's church at Winners, half in chapel.org. Dot UK. It's written on the screen now. Mommy, can you see, the, see it? I'll take it again. It says, Birmingham dot children's church at winners hyphen chapel dot org dot UK. Don't forget, please write your name, your age, your location so we can identify you. Are you from the UK? 
Are you from uh, Africa, any parts in Africa? Are you from Canada? Wherever, please just put it for us. Well done and God bless you. Thank you. Oh, it's our faith talk. It's time for our faith talk, okay? Are you ready? Okay. And it's very simple, I'll tell you, see? I will listen to the Bible all the time. What did I say? I will listen to the Bible all the time. Can you see that after me, please? I do like this. Say, I will listen to the Bible all the time. Come on, give your, give your, give your, your sister a high five. High five. Well done. <laughs> God bless you. Wow. You see, it's time for us to say a prayer of salvation. We've spoken about faith. We spoke about how God created the whole world just with spoken words. So, children, for Jesus to hear your prayers and answer them, you have to become what? A child of God. And you have to, when you enter your goodness, you have to believe it. He said, because faith, when you, as you hear the word of God, you believe it. Say, then it is established. Okay? So, maybe you have said it before, prayer of salvation. You are just watching us for the first time. Or you have been saying before, you can still say it again for you to be a child of God. So you can enjoy this faith we are talking about. Okay? Just repeat after me. Okay? You can join your hands together now while we say prayer of salvation. When I say it, you repeat after me. Are you ready? Okay. Say, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Wash me with your precious blood. I know that you died for me. Forgive me my sins. I write my name in the book of life. Now, I know that I am born again. So help me God. Amen. Congratulations to you if you said that prayer with me. It means you are now a child of God. Say, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Yes, I'm a child of God. You are a child of God now. You are welcome to the family of God. Praise the Lord. Before we end today's service, how many of us were in Zoom class last Sunday? Did you enjoy it? That was awesome. And guess what? Every first Sunday of the month, we are going to be on Zoom. Do you like that? Wow, that's so lovely. Okay, now take note of the date. That our Zoom class is now every first Sunday. Clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Are you happy? Yes. So every first of them. And the next Zoom class will be on this on Sunday the 7th of March 2021 hope you are looking forward to meeting your meet up with your friends again wow did you see them the other day that was so lovely wow it was so good for you to see all your friends and to see your beautiful faces it was it's an awesome time in the presence of God so we look forward to seeing you all again by the special grace of God. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Woo! Praise the Lord. You know what? As we always say, before we go, we say, please stay safe. Always do what? Wash your hands regularly. 
You remember how you wash your hands? Huh? And then you follow all the hygiene rules at home, but at home. And we are in school, everywhere, and maintain social distancing. Is that okay? Wow, well done. I love you all. Oh, it's time to say our closing prayer. I don't want to go home now. Do you want to go home? Okay, but wait, let's just say closing prayer, okay? Okay, join your hands together now as we pray. You can stand up, you can sit down, you can kneel down, okay? Oh, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for teaching us your word today. Thank you for teaching us what faith is. We know that faith is hearing your word and doing what your word says in the Bible. Lord, help us to do all what the Bible says in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because that this week is blessed for us in Jesus' name. Thank you for blessing aunties. Thank you for blessing all the children. Thank you for blessing our daddies and our mommies. We thank you because our week is established. And by faith, we are going to do a lot of things this week. In Jesus' precious name. And everyone says, Amen. And then we say, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Bye and have a lovely week. See you.